Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web. And today we're gonna uncrate the Climb Dakar Pro Glove. What's up, SpeedX fan? Before we jump in and give you the down low on the Climb Dakar Pro, do us both a favor, subscribe to that Speed Addicts channel. It only takes a minute, that way you don't miss out on any of the latest gear reviews coming your way. We're always working hard for you to try to get first look at the latest gear. Subscribe, that way you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to support us here at speedaddicts.com, we would appreciate it and you can do so by shopping with us. Uh, there's gonna be a link in the description below. We make it real easy. They'll take you right over the Climb to Car Glove that we're gonna be talking about today. While you're over there, feel free to shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. So the folks that specialize in adventure, we have Climb on the table there out of Idaho. They make some of the best adventure gear on the market today. And it's not just adventure or touring gear. They also make a full suite of true moto gear, be it jerseys, gloves, helmets, you name it. The Dakar is kind of on the border. You know, this glove could work in an adventure situation if you don't need a ton of armor. They have much more robust protection in their gloves if you want to step it up from the Dakar. But it could also work as an enduro glove or a trail riding glove. I would recommend this for climates that are not quite as hot as uh, say if you wanted to use their um, their Mojave glove. Mojave Pro is is a full mesh back and has more perforation. So that would be for the hotter climates. This is kind of warm to mild climates. It is breathable, it does have some perforation, but if it's really hot where you're at, really hot and humid, check out the Mojave. So if you're in the more mild temper, uh, temperate regions, we'll call them, check out the Dakar. It comes in multiple colorways. We got the black on black on black here. $69, making it relatively affordable, especially considering Climb products are not necessarily the cheapest out there. CE Level 1 certified foam padding across the knuckles and on the palm, more on that later. The fit is excellent, it is true. The goat hide chassis combined with this woven nylon, it all stretches, so right out of the box, it's gonna feel great. Uh, I do recommend buying your gloves a little on the snug side, especially when they have the animal hides in them because they will break in a fair bit over time. Size range is on the Dakar Pro. Small through three extra large. Large is usually what I wear in most gloves. In climb, nine inch circumference to nine and a half. I'm nine and a quarter right in the middle, and that's how this feels, right on the money. If you don't know your palm circumference measurement, take a string, assuming you don't have a tailor's tape, wrap it around the widest part of your hand and lay it out next to a tape measure, and there you have it. Remember, when you're shopping for gear online, shop with Speed Addicts, and you're gonna get no cost returns. We do not nickel and dime you like those other guys. A couple clicks, free return label to qualify. Make sure the gear's brand new and original packaging, and make sure you're located in the lower 48 states. Now your family, your dial, we're gonna hook you up. Back to the glove, breathable stretch across the back. The sections that look like leather are, they are goat leather across the, um, the armor here. So foam rubber or woven. In between the fingers, they are using the hide. This is not like stretched lycra like some of their other gloves. So the fingers themselves are not quite as stretchy as that Mojave glove, um, but still really good, really comfortable place to be out of the box. The foam is five millimeter XRD. Foam XRD is a uh, armor manufacturer. So they're using that third party to put it across your digits and across the back of your hand. This foam armor is a lot more comfortable than hard knuckle protectors, which tend to ride on your knuckles and don't feel quite as good. You notice the, the pre-curved design of this right out of the box. Um, very comfortable. It's going to wrap around your grip and give you a good feel. As we go back, this is all woven. You have a little bit of a reflector accent here so people can see you coming down the road. The Climb logo, no surprises. You get a big foam pad on your thumb and simple entry with this Velcro strap here. Climb's always real good about the strap to pull the gloves on. You get a nice tug here to easily jump into these gloves. And this one, I don't think they have the connector to click clip it into the other glove like they do on some of their other ones. As you move over to the palm, again, goat hide, perforation. You got plenty of perforation, again, for most temperatures, but that Mojave's got more. So if you want more, check out the Mojave. These are pretty large perforations too. You can see my hand right through those. As we roll over to the index finger, we have a goggle wiper. It's on your left hand only, not on the right. Right hand's on the, the throttle, right? So you can, whoops, let me get a good shot. There you go, you can clear it, give your goggles a wipe when you're out 
on the trail. Carpal bone protection back here. Let me roll that over so you can see what I'm doing here. This is a foam pad, and uh, you really won't feel it when you're on when you're twisting or when your hands on the uh, the handlebars here. It is soft enough to move with your hand and not bind up or anything like that. So great glove. Excellent enduro recreational riding, maybe even a little bit of adventure riding under a hundred bucks. Two year warranty from Climb comes in different colors. That is the Dakar Pro. Thanks for watching everyone. You still got questions, rider support standing by at speedaddicts.com where you can always talk to the human over email, live chat, or the phone. If you got a set of the Dakar Pro gloves, let the community know how you like them in the comment section below. That does it for today, folks. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.